Hello, welcome to the lesson on Internet of Things using ThingSpeak platform. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about ThingSpeak platform and we will be building different projects using ThingSpeak IoT platform. ThingSpeak is an IoT cloud platform. We can use this platform to collect and store sensor data in the cloud and we can develop different Internet of Things applications by using this platform. So what is ThingSpeak platform? ThingSpeak is the product of MathWorks company. ThingSpeak is a free online data aggregation platform. Means we can collect data from sensors or IoT devices into the cloud. At the same time, this ThingSpeak provides instant visualization of the data. And also, it is popular among researchers for experimenting in IoT. So, ThingSpeak can also be used for data analysis. Why? Because ThingSpeak comes with MATLAB. It supports MATLAB. So, we can write MATLAB code to analyze data. And we can run MATLAB code in ThingSpeak cloud. It is possible all of you. And ThingSpeak can also be used to act on data. Right. So, for example, you want to send a tweet if the temperature in your garden reaches more than 32 degrees centigrade. Okay. So, so far we understood that ThingSpeak is useful to collect sensor data, to visualize sensor data, to analyze sensor data. At the same time, we can act on sensor data. ThingSpeak supports different types of hardware boards you can work with uh, you know uh, arduino or node mcu esp32 raspberry pi and even you can write code from matlab also so it is because of the libraries and apis available okay so and remember all of you things speak supports two important data protocols what are they that is http and mqdt Okay, so you can use HTTP and MQTT in order to exchange data between hardware and ThingSpeak. ThingSpeak works with different programming languages because uh, it has REST API. So you can use Python, Arduino, C, C++ or JavaScript. Okay, you can use any programming language to communicate with ThingSpeak platform. Even people are using LabVIEW also. Okay, do understand this. And who is this ThingSpeak for? So today researchers are using ThingSpeak and makers all around the world are using ThingSpeak and students, professionals and some people are actually designing their own prototypes for testing. Yes. So now as a student or a researcher or a professional, you are here to learn ThingSpeak. So in the next session, we are going to see how to create an account in ThingSpeak platform, how to communicate with the ThingSpeak platform by using HTTP protocol. Okay, right.